On a different play. We see Orlando first here, and this is an interesting group for the Lions. Facundo Torres normally plays as a winger. He might be more tucked centrally tonight. Yeah, it's it's going to look more like a 4 2 3 one for Oscar Pareja with uh, Perea and Araujo will be the players in the middle. Benji Michel will be the winger on the left-hand side. Mulroney is going to play inverted on the right-hand side, something that he's growing into that role under Oscar Pareja. Pato is going to be the striker, sort of a false nine role. Torres is going to have that freedom to express himself, which is what he was brought here to do. Number 17 designated player coming from Peñarol for Orlando City. Having a pretty good first season, five goals, six assists. Meanwhile, for uh, Arsenal, as we mentioned, eight changes from the weekend and a couple of key players in here, Martinelli. And you mentioned Eddie Nketiah. He leads the line tonight, 23-year-old. They love him at uh, North London. They want him to be a major piece for them going forward. Yeah, he's still a young player in a developmental phase. He scored 23 goals in 92 appearances for Arsenal. He's going to be starting up top. It was Gabriel Jesus who started in the last game versus Everton in the back side. Tavares is going to get a nod once again on the left-hand side. Pablo Marí, the Spaniard, number 22, coming back from long from Udinese alongside Holding. And on the right-hand side is going to be Cedric taking advantage of the injury to Tommy Asu. El Neni is going to be in the middle of the field. I think alongside Lokonga and Maitland Niles is going to be a little bit farther forward with Martinelli, Brazilian. The flair, a fan favorite. He's going to be very dynamic, making good decisions. Decisions number 11 on the left hand side. Pepe on the right hand side. A bit of a disappointment so far. They're hoping that this year he can turn the corner and be a contributor. And as I said, catch at number 14 on top four. Miquel Arteta side. And when you look at the substitutes benches, these two. Eddie Nketia is in the center circle. We await Kevin Broadley's whistle to get us started. Orlando City and Arsenal. First ever game against a big six Premier League side for the home team. And Arsenal continuing their U.S. tour. Taking on an MLS team in an MLS building tonight. And it is rocking. Uh, just a fantastic atmosphere. It's beautiful to see a stadium that is packed. It's beautiful to see so many red jerseys here from Arsenal. So many fans from the Gunners. Underway. Aaron Ramsdale gets us started and launches one all the way down past everybody. And Orlando will start with a goal kick. Is to give the entity. They're very aggressive. Every single player well past the halfway line. You know, those number eight player players in the middle getting and penetrating. Martinelli, curler, deflected in! strike quickly through Martinelli. Yeah, this is a fantastic finish here from Martinelli. Yes, there is a little bit of luck, but where there isn't luck is in his ability to go 1v1 at people, those quick combinations. He's obviously looking for the back post, but Araujo, very, very unfortunate to deflect the ball into the net. It's Antonio Carlos, rather, who, who hits the ball with his back, but it is the product of that intention, those numbers. Tavares getting far up the field, creating those number overloads on the left hand side, going out on a. Antonio Carlos looking long over the top. Facundo Torres has a step on Tavares. Torres shoots, scores! Odegaard 
Pato again in from behind, but Odegaard stays with it. Slips it through, Jesus. Shot goal! Good individual stuff here from Gabriel Jesus and Kyle Smith has to come inside to help after his turn Antonio Carlos and then a fortuitous bounce to Nkecha who finds himself in a good position in a very very easy finish for the young player paying back for that low contract extension and the belief that Mikel Arteta and the Arsenal supporters have in him gets the second one here in the evening for Arsenal gets him up in the score and Kecha was with Chelsea for seven years as a youth player, was released by Chelsea in 2015. They weren't interested in him. Playing on the right-hand side, Ben White, but their spacing is a lot better. Their balance is a lot better. Jacka here for Arsenal. Looking for the third. Partey, Odegaard passes it up. It's Saka. Bukayo Saka to the middle. Shot on and go! Reese Nelson! London's own Reese Nelson makes it 3-1 Arsenal in the 80th minute. Just came on at the hydration break for Enketia. And he scores the goal that should ice it for the Gunners. Yeah, them probing around the box, being patient. Eventually, you find, besides Kyle Saka by himself, isolated versus Kyle Smith. And as an inverted winger, he does really well to cut the ball back inside. And then just a beautiful, beautiful pass to... Nelson, the Brazilian, who just came on, and all he has to do is just put it in the back of the net as Pedro Galese is in the opposite post, waiting for Saka to cut inside and maybe deliver a shot. And by the time he slides over, that ball still is already in the back of the net. That's the difference in their quality in those little areas, moving the ball, 